I want to show you this capacitor real quick. This is a uh, 40 by 5. Went to home on a house and it wasn't cooling, but my pressure was like 80 or 225. It's a 1992 system with R22 in it. So I went to check. First, I did a maintenance on it and it kind of lowered the pressures a little bit, but with 80 and 225, you'll think you. The, the unit is running correctly or, or trying to because it's 80 degrees in the house though but it wasn't cooling so I knew something was going on so I started checking the amps on the compressor and I was getting I forgot what it, the compressor rated for but I was getting like 11.2 11.2 and I was getting zero on one leg so I'm like damn that's strange so then I was like, well, that's crazy. Um, but I was getting vote. I think I, I think I was getting. I don't know if I checked voltage to each leg, but like I said, I was getting 11 amps on two legs and 0 0.7 on another other leg. So I was like, let me check the capacitor. So went check. I think this is it. Yeah, this is the capacitor. So went to check the capacitor. Uh, so I'm gonna arm it out. It's the compressor right here. I was getting 143 on the compressor side. And it's a 40. I used to have them. Uh, that was my first time getting one over uh, percentage like that. Like 143. That's crazy. And this is my fan right here. Let me see. And my fan. And 2.6 so the pan, fan is supposed to be a 5 so let me see if I can grab another capacitor out of here right quick just, just show you that the meter is reading correctly because it is a fluke I'm going to grab any dual capacitor this is a 45 and, and 7.5 alright it's a 45 7.5. Hope y'all can see that because I know that sun is beaming. 45. This is a 45 and 7.5. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the fan. Herman. What you call. Check the same thing. Herm. So I got 45.6. Compress. And on the fan side. Got a 7.5, which is rated for 45 and 7.5. Like I say, we're gonna do this one again. Watch on compressor. I got 145. I'm getting 143. So I don't I think I'm going to do the calculation on there, but they gotta be over a hundred percent. You say it give you plus or minus five percent. Obviously, they're way over five percent. So, if you ever run into this situation right there where uh, the, the compressor is running and your pressure look kind of normal, uh, check the amps on all three legs of, of your compressor and see if you're losing anything, and then check the capacitor. Uh, that, that was kind of like a tricky new one on me. And, and I almost told it's a 1992 unit. I almost told the guy that uh, he kind of had his day up. And because the compressor wasn't circulating or something, but uh, I did. I grounded it. I mean, I owned out the compressor, everything checked good. I checked the insulation on it, everything checked out good. And that's something told me to just go ahead and check the capacitor. And uh, that's what I found. All right, we out, though.